Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, your girl, Manza Moore. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Y'all, today I have a treat for y'all, something that's been very long awaited on this channel and I've been hinting at for quite some time. If it's your first time seeing me, I'm Manza Moore and I just wanna welcome you to this video. It's my brand new series. I'm about to get into everything, okay? But if you love this, make sure you give this a thumbs up so that way YouTube will promote it for everyone to watch. And yeah, without further ado, let me just jump right into this. So I have been wanting to give this channel a community name for quite some time. And I also have made it a part of a series where you guys will be learning everything about purpose and identity. So for those of you who are familiar with my ministry, my platform, the content that I create, I have been doing this for quite some time now. And basically my mission statement is that I empower women to heal in their identity and master the unapologetic mindset that is needed for their purpose. And I've come up with this concept as well to create this to be a series because I just think this is going to be powerful. I know the last time that I did a series on purpose, you all loved it. As you all know, I've been on my own personal healing journey. So during the time that I was doing all of this healing and I was realizing so many things about my own walk in God, my life, um, you know, when you're going through a healing journey, it can feel very lonely. There could be moments where like, you need extra support and i felt like i really wanted my community to be a place where people get that support especially if you're walking in your purpose and as you all know when you are set apart you're a remnant you know god has made you to be peculiar sometimes you are more introverted or you feel a little more isolated and so um i just really started praying and asking god like what is this thing you're doing in me because i had done back in 2020 i did do um an email list some of y'all were subscribed to it some of you may remember it i used to promote it on here as well the purpose push i stopped doing that because it just ended up like not working out for the long run but now if you really love that or anything else you've seen me do in the past surrounding or speaking about purpose you are going to love this series so let me just first go ahead and explain who this series is going to be for and what this series is going to be about what you're going to be able to get out of it and then i'm also just going to break down the name of our community because i have to reveal that i'm so excited y'all it's been two years in the making so i'm on the edge of my seat to let y'all just find out all those details and then of course we're also going to touch on the topic we're going to talk about today really quick it's probably going to be a two-part series because i have another part that i want to go in uh, about this topic so this series again is for women who want to heal in their identity they want to be empowered in that and as well for you ladies who also want to master the mindset that is needed to be in your purpose um, in the time that I've been walking in God, I have really realized that it really is a mindset that you need to adapt to be kingdom minded and to understand what is the bigger role that you play here on this earth. So this series is really going to help you tap into that mindset that you need to have to be able to flourish in your purpose. We're really going to really hone in on your skills. It's going to be something to empower you, activate you, affirm you, and to give you the wisdom and of course the clarity and the training that you need to be able to stay in this. Because purpose is heavy. Uh, it's about our destinies, about our callings on this earth. And of course, the enemy is going to do everything, anything he can do to stop you from doing that. And so I really want you ladies to be able to come on here and, and get this content and watch these videos and also make sure you follow me across my socials. So make sure you check out uh, the description box below to follow me across all the socials and of course uh, Instagram so that you can be plugged in day to day with me and I can just be helping you all, motivating you all towards that greater purpose that God has on your life. If you're a woman that you really just want to walk flat footed in front of God, you're ready to go to that next level in God, this series is going to be for you. It's going to provide you with all the insight, all of the spiritual principles and disciplines you need to really be just doing your part on this earth. For women who are very serious about the fact that you know you have a calling on your life and you don't want to stand before God and be told, you know, depart from me, I never knew you. Um, you know there's a responsibility, you know there's something greater that you want to do on this earth. And you all know I've always been a big, just, uh, I just love purpose. Like this is super close to my heart because purpose literally saved my life. Figuring out my purpose was everything to me. And for those of you who are still subscribing from my testimony video, you all know that I spoke about purpose and that was the thing I was looking for my entire life. So to be able to have a series that's gonna be permanent on this channel, it's probably gonna be the, the videos I'm going to create the most on here. So you will be seeing more and more videos from this series, which let me just hurry up and already announce it. It's also gonna be the name of our community. It is going to be called The Diamond Heirs. And I just love this name. I feel like it's so representative of 
everything that I know the Lord wants this series to be and everything that I know I stand for as a woman of God and as a Christian woman. So let me just break down to y'all how this name even came to me because I just thought it was so powerful and so beautiful. So again, like I was telling y'all, you know, especially throughout the pandemic, I feel like everyone was going through something. We were all trying to heal and, you know, get our lives on track and just remain, you know, right with God. And I was really like, God, I really want something that's really going to empower women, especially women who are in a rough spot in life or are just dealing with a lot at this point in time, you know, in transition, whether they're in their 20s, entering their 30s. Like, I really just want something that's really going to make them like just, you know, feel so motivated and empowered and affirmed in their calling in God. I really want y'all to watch this and just know like, you know what? I am that girl. Like I am God's daughter. I have plans and purposes on my life. Like I know there's days where we don't always feel that motivation and that's where discipline has to come in. But you know, just to go ahead and, and keep describing here to you all, I was thinking God, like I need a logo. And I started thinking about like a couple of things and God just put in my mind a diamond. And I was like, you know what, that's perfect because I love diamonds. I've always loved the symbol of a diamond and what a diamond represents. And so as you all know, diamonds start off as carbon and they're very like far deep down in the earth. And so over time through the right amount of heat, right amount of temperature and also the right amount of pressure, a diamond is created. And I feel like that's so similar to our walk in God because we are all looking to become that finished product in God. But I just think it's so powerful how God uses those same things, time and pressure to create us into a diamond and how God is trying to make us into someone who's not going to easily break right because diamonds don't easily break and so I just love that and I have been using the diamond emoji for a very long time so when he gave me diamond I was like oh I like that and then um I was like okay God I need something else like we need something to like also describe us not just something to represent us and I started thinking about um the verse y'all know my favorite favorite chapter in the bible um, is Romans 8 and the verse uh, verse 17 came to me which was um, let me say this again so Romans 8 17 came to me and um, in that verse it says how we are co-heirs with Christ and I thought about that and I was like oh wow we're co-heirs Lord so you know when God brings us into his kingdom you know we sit with him you know what I'm saying we're on the right hand of God and so I just thought that was like so powerful. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Like, you know, God adopts us into his kingdom and he calls us friend, you know, and that's always been something so big for me, you know, just knowing that I always have that support in God. God's always with me. God's always leading me. God's always letting me know like, hey, you got to work on this. You ain't, you know, you got to get to, you got to get this together. You're not all the way right, but doing it out of love, right? And out of conviction. And um, that name just came, I was like, air. I was like, that's perfect. And I really wanted to put heiresses, but I felt like that was too long. But I also love the word heiress and heir well, heiresses for you all because it was going to be plural. But I love the, the word heiress and I love what that represents. I just think it's such a beautiful word. And I've had it um, in my bio for such a long time. I had it for two years because God started depositing this in me at the end of 2020. And it just feels so good to finally know we're here. And it's just this full circle moment of letting you all know like what God has given me and so yes we are heirs like I just y'all this is just so powerful to me like I don't know if y'all can feel it watching or y'all can feel my excitement or just like y'all have no idea like what God has revealed to me and what he has shown me about how powerful this series is gonna be you guys are going to absolutely love it it's gonna be everything you need to be able to thrive in your calling and so i'm just super 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 excited so i just really want you ladies to really start studying all the bible verses i'm going to be giving y'all to study definitely study romans 8 um that whole entire chapter but definitely if you want to be able to learn about especially the specific part where it talks about the co-heirs with christ or being heirs in christ that's roman 8 uh chapter 8 verses 14 through 17 i really believe that's gonna just bless y'all like y'all really are gonna really enjoy that and um you know today we're gonna talk about you know this was another aspect of something god had highlighted to me because i was like you know god everybody i feel like we all you know want something out of our christian walk we're all seeking for something you know for me it was purpose but i was like okay more than purpose, what was God trying to give me? Because I wanted purpose, but there was also something that you, God, were trying to give me. And God just brought it to my attention. He was like, your spiritual inheritance. And I was like, wow, that is so powerful because 
that's when you become an heir when you say yes to god you come into your walk you say yes to your purpose and now you begin to benefit by the spiritual inheritance that god has promised you that has come from you know your ancestors that you know that were in the bible abraham isaac you know what i'm saying and i just we're well we are all descendants of abraham and um i was just thinking like wow that that is just amazing like that's something that is so beautiful to share with people because you know, I feel like there's a lot of concepts in the body of Christ that people are not aware of, especially when it comes to like kingdom concepts. And, you know, when I got saved, that was something that really just touched my heart. Like I was like, wow, my whole life, you know, I feel like people were just always trying to give me like just to say the sinner's prayer or here's the good news. Jesus died on the cross. And it's like, OK, that's cool. I didn't really know what that meant, but there was something different and a different uh, significance and weight. That came with understanding like god had a spiritual inheritance for me there were things that no matter how good of a person or how much money i could have ever made or how great i thought my life could have been i would have never came into my spiritual inheritance had i not decided to to say yes to god and become a christian and from a young age i didn't really see myself being a christian so i don't want to get too much into me because really on these videos it's not going to be too much about me i'm going to share things here and there if the holy spirit leads me to but i just want to touch today on what your spiritual inheritance is we're going to have another video where i'm going to really break down a couple different concepts of how to come into your spiritual inheritance um, and to be able to grab a hold of it but i just really felt like there was a lot i wanted to explain on this video and i didn't want it to be too long so basically your spiritual inheritance um is you know what you grab a hold of what you come into when you tell god yes and you know when you tell god yes god begins to just transform your life and there are things that you don't even know like you were seeking for or wanted to make peace with when it comes to your personal identity which we will be talking a lot about on here your spiritual identity in god which is you are a daughter of god there's things that god you know, like, I don't know if y'all have ever seen this picture before when it says like my plans for my life and it's like you see a floor plan and it's like a little, I don't know, let's say like it's like a regular house, like a one story house with like, you know, maybe too bad, too bad for something. And then it's like God's plan for my life and it's like a mansion and it's like all these rooms and it's something big. And it's not to say that living in a regular house isn't good enough, you know, or anything like that. What I mean by that is that God's plans for us are always way bigger than what we want for ourselves. And so when I think about like when I was in college and I just thought, oh, I just want to do this. or I just want to do that. Like I was going for journalism. I wanted to be a writer. And God was like, as soon as I came into like being saved and God was showing me like, you could do this, you could do that. Like you're supposed to do this. You're going to do that. You're not just going to do one thing. And it's so crazy because just six years ago, like, I didn't know I would be where I am today. I didn't know like the life that I live is just like, wow, like, and it took a lot to get here and it took a lot of sacrifice and it took a lot of betting on myself, believing in myself, really like putting my life on the line for God to birth, you know, the purpose and the blessings in my life. Because, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, God loves everybody, which God does. And God's love is not conditional. God's love is unconditional. So whether you never become a Christian, you never say yes to your call, you never really be serious about your purpose, God's going to love you regardless. But however, some of God's blessings are conditional. Like there are some blessings we never come into because God's not going to give you something you can't handle. And so right now there are blessings and there are opportunities that I have right now in my life and things that are lined up right now for my future that had I not made all the decisions I've made up until this moment, it, it just wouldn't be possible for me because I wouldn't be able to withstand and I wouldn't be able to deal with certain aspects of this walk. And so I think a lot of times people just really settle for just like, okay, I got saved and now I know Jesus loves me. And, you know, I may, they may understand certain concepts and certain things, but there's a lot of stuff. Sorry, y'all. I had to turn on the AC because it's just so hot. There's light in front of me. <laughs> but like I was saying, so there are certain things that like God cannot bring you into because you're just not ready for that level of sacrifice. You don't have the character um, you have not been processed and you know a lot of times we come into our Christian walk and we think it's enough just because we have zeal and we're on fire and we well, I, whatever God want me to do I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get it done and yeah I'm on my purpose I'm on my job I'm doing what I gotta do I'm getting I'm getting everything together but then there comes a point where God is calling us to heal God is calling us to slow down because he wants us to not miss a thing he wants us to be present in our healing 
and you know we're going to be talking about all different types of stuff not just in this series but throughout my channel i still have so many things i want to discuss with you all and i'm gonna leave that till the end some of the stuff that i got coming up some announcements but you know you really have to get to a point in life where you understand like if you want the more of god like there's a lot of people that will watch other people and see like how anointed they are and how great and big their ministry is becoming and everything isn't about numbers like sometimes it's just that elevation it's just like wow like look at where they at look at everything that they're doing like that's powerful you know and you you know lots of times with people we don't mean to but sometimes we compare ourselves to other people and we wonder like why am i not at where they at and it's just because you don't have the discipline you don't really want it that bad and so those are the things that i really want to be able to come out here and encourage you all and us and y'all be it you know we all be a support system to each other you know y'all encourage me i encourage y'all like we all hold each other accountable here like yo what you doing like you got to get on your purpose you got to be doing your stuff you know and sometimes I want to be honest with you all too, like in these last two years, I wasn't really creating so much content like I used to because God was working on me. And so I don't want y'all to think that purpose is just content or is just being seen or, you know, that's not it. It's like, you know, it's really spending that time being consecrated in front of the Lord, going to therapy, getting your life in order, getting your ducks in a row, like just really being submitted and sold out to this calling and to this lifestyle because it's going to require so much focus. It's going to require so much of your time and your effort. And you just really want to be present for that and really just be offering yourself grace as you are transitioning and becoming that woman of God that God is calling you to be. I feel like the way we are set up in society is just like everyone wants to be blessed. Everyone wants to be prospered. Everybody wants more in God. Everybody wants to be doing their thing and hustling and you know, making a bag, but it's just like, how is your soul? You know, where are you at in God? Like a lot of people, and I think an uh, issue I see a lot in the body of Christ is people think being a woman of God is like an aesthetic. It's like, like a style, like a fad, like a trendy thing, or like, a, oh, you know, I'm gonna insert God where I want to insert God at. And I want to be very clear, like this series, I'm not trying to, you know, um, I'm not trying to raise up women who just think this is cute. Like this is serious. This is really like kingdom business. This is really like, you know, God is expecting things out of us. God is expecting us to really prioritize him in every, in every area of our lives and not just in the areas where we want things, you know? It's supposed to be, you know, us really being submitted and yielded to the desires of God, us really being in the will of God, not just living our own will, or just, us just asking God for the things we want. God is not a genie, and I've said that plenty of times on this channel. And so I really want the women who, to follow me to understand, like, this is serious like i'm really gonna be straight up with y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all in love but i'm also gonna really like give y'all the real like if you can't handle that this may not be the series for you because this series right here this is gonna be for women who are for real about this it's gonna be for women who really are like you know i'm serious like i'm ready to go to the next level in god I'm, re I'm ready to live out my purpose whether you already know what it is or you are on that journey and god is revealing it to you but i want you all to know you may not know exactly what your purpose is and we will be breaking that down too soon but what i want you all to know is we all have one same purpose how we go about doing that purpose may be different but all of us every christian on this earth our purpose is to destroy the works of the enemy that's it anything we can do to further the kingdom of god and destroy the works of the enemy we are in purpose and so i just want to be very clear about that because sometimes people have like a different i don't know people have so many different understandings of what purpose is so I definitely feel that that is the most accurate way to describe it. And I really just want to be here for you all to support you all and to remind you all like, no, like no matter what you're dealing with, like there's an inheritance on the other side. There's something that God wants you to grab a hold of. There's something that after this test and this trial, you're going to come into like God is going to elevate you. Let me tell y'all, no matter how it's going right now, no matter how it looks, it's going to end, you're going to end in glory. Like God is really going to prom every promise God has given you. He's really going to deliver. And I really believe like we are in a time where we are being tested. We are in a time where a lot of us are in a silent season where God is transitioning us. And it may look like stuff don't look the way it's supposed to. Our lives right now may look contrary from the prophetic word that we were given. But remember, it's not just about the word that was given. There's also work that we have to do to be able to bring that word to pass. And so don't be waiting on a word and you ain't doing no work because that's not finna work. Okay, so...
that's basically the entire video you all i will be coming back on to talk about you know how to figure out what your purpose is of course this is something that only god could reveal to you so i'm not gonna be over here telling y'all like is this this but i'm gonna tell y'all a couple ways you can figure that out i will also be telling y'all three ways of how to sustain your spiritual inheritance so I'm not really sure which one I want to do next. I may like let y'all vote. Um, so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. My name is at I am Amanda Moore everywhere on my platforms. And you guys can go ahead and follow me there. So some last minute announcements. Um, I just want to let y'all know, please. Well, first and foremost, please, if you love this video, thumbs this video up. Share this with somebody you care about that you know this will bless them greatly who is also on this journey of discovering their purpose and their identity and God is healing whatever that looks like for them just make sure you go ahead and click the share button and share it to their phone or wherever you want to share it to them make sure y'all comment let me know how y'all like this um and yeah so yeah like share comment and then last but not least i just want to leave y'all with some announcements so as you all know i've been telling y'all for quite some time i have a whole bunch of new videos i wanted to share with you all and um i really was like planning to have this video out by august the latest and it actually i got like another delay because as soon as i was like beginning to like put the finishing touches on this video god began showing me so many different things he wanted me to do so i did get rid of like a lot of content that i was gonna do and i've kept other stuff so basically at this point y'all have seen everything now it's this series the diamond heirs and i will be putting out other stuff but if you definitely love this series i'm always gonna label it the diamond heirs i'm gonna set it up some way where before you know i come on y'all know it's the diamond heirs series so that way you're not confused with you know this series versus all the other videos i do on here but y'all can also expect i think the only thing i haven't done yet because i've done almost everything else um is i haven't really done like an all beauty video so i'm definitely gonna do beauty videos again like i promised y'all and um i also have like more videos coming out where it's just gonna be about me and kind of sharing my walk with you all not necessarily testimonies because i will be doing more testimonies hopefully in the future but sharing some testimonies you know throughout my walk but just really me like talking to y'all one-on-one just talking about woman topics you know just really uplifting you all it's gonna kind of be a little similar to um a series i started on my instagram where i'm doing like live videos sometimes too i'll be doing that from time to time but on that one i'm gonna be doing my makeup and stuff like that as we're on here it's gonna be more like girl talk we're gonna just be sitting down we'll be talking about different things about you know being a christian woman and it's just gonna be fun light-hearted videos nothing too heavy i have a lot i want to express to you all and a lot i want to share and i feel like as christian women there's so many different things that we go through and sometimes like we just need someone to talk to you know sometimes it's hard to find other women who go through the things we go through and are young like us and like understand what it's like to just be a young woman trying to be a christian in this day and age and i feel like i want to be very personable with you all i don't want to like come on here and always like y'all feel like i'm like up here or something because i'm i'm really just like y'all i'm a girl's girl i really like love to love on women and on people and i'm just a very loving person overall and i really love to just uplift other people and just show them like yo like whatever you're dealing with like i feel you that's real but don't don't lose faith like tr put your trust in god like we all go through stuff but you know you get you fall down seven times you get back up eight like don't ever give up on yourself love yourself and just remember like you that girl and period and can't nobody do anything to change that so i love you all thank y'all god bless y'all i look so forward to doing more videos for you all on this series thank you so much for tuning in and welcome finally to the diamond air community